A lot of big businesses start from small families, but all businesses, large and small, go through conflict. This is especially true for family businesses where personal relationships become problematic in a professional environment. In this video, Professor Enrique Soriano III will share some tips on how to transform your personal relationships into professional relationships in order to help your family business succeed. Managing a business is uh, very tough. Managing a family in a business is even tougher. Family business in most respects are similar in the beginning. It's typically headed by one or two people with absolute authority to decide. But as the family business moves from different phases, there are challenges. There's a universal formula. We normally refer to it as the first to second to third generation. The first generation usually starts the business. The second generation eventually grows the business. The third generation, on the other hand, takes over the business and most often than not, they destroy the business. Like I said earlier, family business can be tough. It's even tougher if conflicts remain unresolved. When a family business starts, usually nag-umpisa sila as a young business family, where the patriarch essentially calls the shots because the children are still young. As the uh, patriarch moves into midlife, he will now look into expansion and possibly even managing a bigger set of employees. And this is the time where the children are oriented to the ways of doing business. So the patriarch or the matriarch tries to program the entry of this second generation children. So in the working together phase, without the proper orientation, without the proper education of the children, dito na ho nag yung conflict. So if that situation happens, the parents tries to discipline the children and do na na isolate yung mga bata. So this working together phase is the toughest part of the transitional period. Pag hindi yun na pag-usapan yung mga roles and responsibilities ng mga bata, this will now lead to a serious conflict in the succeeding years. By the time that phase moves to the last phase, which is the letting go phase, the children have already conditioned themselves to be owners. A certain level of entitlement. And therefore, the senior generation would not be willing to let go. Overall, the transitional period goes to so many stages but the escalating conflict happens when there's so much intensity in working together. How do you now address all of this? If I can illustrate a three-circle model, it was conceptualized by uh, two professors at the Harvard Business School, and this has been a very good contribution to harmonizing family businesses. Itong three-circle model na gumpisa ho sa tinatawag na family circle. When the children are born, they belong to that circle. But habang tumatanda na, their parents would normally request them to sign documents. Oftentimes, ang tawag namin dyan, ginagawa silang props pang buo ng corporation. From family, tumatalon siya to ownership. When they finally graduate from college, nire-require sila ng parents nila to join the business. From family circle to ownership circle to business circle. Now, this is where it gets a bit confusing. Kasi family sila, mga bata, bigla na lang sila binigyan ng ownership. So feeling nila, they own at least a portion of the family business. And then binigyan pa sila ng trabaho. Feeling nila, they are definitely bosses in the family business. So pag pumasok na sila without the proper education, without the proper alignment of the values, of the vision, or even to the so-called littlest details, yung mga protocols na dapat pumasok ka ng maaga, alas ocho, hindi alas gis, doon na ho nagkakaproblema. Now, if there's confusion, there's gonna be additional confusion pag pumasok na yung mga cousins. The cousins will end up joining the fray without the proper orientation and they would also feel entitled. Sino pa yung mga pwede pa magkakaroon ng problema? Mga in-laws. When the children gets married, the in-laws also will join. So dun sa three-circle model, kung makikita ho ninyo, talagang nag intersect si family, nag intersect si ownership, nag intersect si business. Magkakaroon ng confusion ng roles. Talagang magkakaproblema. And the patriarch 
will hang on to this business because he feels that the children are entitled already and therefore may not have the discipline of hard work, may not carry the vision and the values of the old man. When you have this and more, the confusion and the dynamics, what will come after would be conflict. And my philosophy there is simple. Hindi ho pwede in dumi, itago lang sa, sa carpet. Kailangan ho ay iwawalis yan, linisin. You cannot just simply keep it under wraps because at some point, it's gonna escalate into a full-blown conflict. That is the very nature of the three-circle model. Mahirap po talaga magtayo uh, ng negosyo. All the more pag napasukan na ho ng mga bata and family members. So I want to emphasize uh, a few key takeaways for, for us. Number one, you need to professionalize your personal relationship. You need to start the process. There are some family business frameworks that I highlighted earlier. Use the three-circle model as a roadmap so that you can anticipate conflict. Gamitin nyo rin ho yung transition, yung tinatawag natin na identifying the so-called transitional phases. From the time the business is still in its growth phase, all the way up to the time that you hand over the business to the family. Next advice is do this sooner rather than later by introducing policies and rules in the family business. Get an HR person to help you define so-called human resources policies because the objective is for you to focus on what's really important, which is growing your family business. Help grow your business with BDO SME Loan. BDO SME Loan has a variety of loan facilities that can finance your business requirements. If you're planning to expand your business or for your other business needs, call 02-631-8000 or text BDO Loans to 2256. You can also visit www.bdo.com.ph